What is going on, everybody? My name is Steven or Z Crowns here, and I'm coming at you with another Hut Squad Builder today. And I haven't done one of these in a while, but it seemed like you guys really liked them. And today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different one, as you guys could say. I usually do gold players, but I'm going to be doing silver players this time. So let's jump into this, let's see the squad. All right, so here we go. We've got our silver squad here. Obviously, the chemistry is not going to be good because they're all in different leagues. And I didn't want to waste all the money to put change teams on them just for this video. So let's jump into this. So on first line we got a, a silver NHL player actually, Mike Hoffman. He's a left wing playmaker and six foot one seventy five. So he's just built perfectly, pretty much for the NHL. Not too big, not too small, heavy but not too light. He's twenty three. And honestly, the only reason I put him in this video or the first line because I'm actually my dad is good friends with his dad. So we have kind of a connection, you know, brothers. But then, first line center, you've got the one and only Max Domi, Ty Domi's son. Max Domi is definitely a better player than Ty Domi, I can get you, let you know that. And then on the right wing, we have the Washington Capitals prospect Tom Wilson. He's a uh, power forward, and he's 6'4", 210, so he's one... He's a brick on the ice. And then our 2D, we've got the Providence Bruins, who are both playing in the... NHL right now, we've got Tory Krug, the lefty offensive D-man, and Kevin Miller, the right D, two-way defenseman. These guys are obviously really good together with the chemistry because they're on the same team, but on it, like just alone, they're actually pretty stellar. And in net, we've got Malcolm Subban and Zach Fucali. Z uh, Malcolm is on the Belleville Bulls, another Bruins prospect, and we've got Fucali who is a Montreal prospect and is on Halifax Mooseheads. So let's go into line two now. We've got Hin Hunter Shinkrook, or Shinkarik, Shinkrook, same thing, a left wing playmaker for the Medicine Hat Tigers. And centerman, we've got Frederic Gauthier, a Toronto Maple Leafs, um, sorry, it's Toronto Maple Leafs uh, prospect. He was their first round pick last year, I believe it was. And then we've got Charles Houdon, I believe that's his name. Yes, Charles Houdon, 5'8", 165. He looks like he's 10 years old, but he's one good player in this game. He's actually really good. And then we've got Scott Harrington and Aaron Ekblad. Aaron Ekblad might be the first overall pick this year, which is pretty cool. I've played against him before. He hit me. So that's we've got another brother connection right there. He hit me. And so, yeah, this line's pretty good. I like the defense on this one with uh, Scott Harrington and Aaron Ekblad. So now we're to the third line. We've got Curtis Lazar on the Emi sorry, Edmonton Oil Kings. And we've got Jean Gabriel yes, Jean Gabriel Pajot, 5'8, 163, on the Ottawa Senators, I believe. Yes. Wait, yes. Yes, yes, I believe, yes. <laughs> he's actually really small in this game, but he's actually pretty fast. His 78 speed does not give him justice. And then on the line three, we've got Ty Ratty, Portland Winterhawks player. And then on their fourth line, oh, sorry, I forgot the defense. And we've got Darnell Nurse and Ryan Murphy. Darnell Nurse is a uh, first-round draft pick of the Edmonton Oilers, I believe. And Ryan Murphy is a Columbus prospect, I believe. And then fourth line here, we've got Bo Horvat. Jordan Stahl and Connor Brown. Obviously, Jordan Stahl has two, three brothers in the NHL, two or three brothers in the NHL. Connor Brown is the leading goal scorer in the OHL this season, and Bo Horvat is just a stud. Just a stud. So, boys, this is the silver team that I like to rock. I am, I've won a few games with these guys actually in Division 1, even with the chemistry being low. I don't know if it's ice tilt, but they're actually pretty good together. So I definitely recommend using this team, and the fact that Malcolm Subban is boosted helps a lot. So boys, I hope you enjoyed this different um, video, different hut squad builders, so let me know if you guys want me to do other hut squad builders in the future, and what, what squad builders you want to see. So please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.